parked on the street looking at her cell phone. Then she notices a beautiful parked car. She says it looks like a rich farmer's car and decides to go to the vehicle and take a picture. Across the street, this man spots the woman. He finds her very pretty and decides in turn to go talk to her. While the woman takes pictures with the car and then posts it on social media, the man arrives and greets her. She doesn't seem to want to talk to him, but the man insists and says she's very pretty. The woman thanks him, but ironically says that she has a mirror at home. The man has a simple vocabulary and reveals that he finds blonde women attractive, but she is definitely not interested and asks him to move away as she wants to take pictures with the car. The seemingly humble man apologizes, but she doesn't want to hear and repeats that he's getting in the way and asks what he wants. He says he is looking for a love in life, a woman who is really a partner, but she looks at him from head to toe, disdainful of the way he dresses. She asks if he thinks he's on the same level as her. The man is confused and asks what is wrong with him. The woman is arrogant and replies that he needs a mirror at home. Despite being offended, he is kind and offers to take the picture for her. The woman gets even angrier and insinuates that a man like him has no idea how much her cell phone costs and insinuates that he could drop or even steal the device. So she asks him to leave again. But he assures that he is an honest man. But the woman is very rude and says that the very day she finds a beautiful car, a poor and poorly dressed man decides to keep bothering her. So he asks her to give him a chance and invites her to lunch at a restaurant near that street. He says that the owner of the restaurant is a friend of his and the food, besides being delicious, is cheap. The woman once again shows her proud side and laughs at the man's simplicity. Without being humble, she replies that a woman like her deserves a fine restaurant not just any diner in a poor neighborhood. The man is patient and asks what he did wrong for her to act so aggressively towards him. But patience is not a virtue of hers and so she tells the man again to go away. The kind guy keeps trying to convince her to change her mind, but the woman is convinced of her decision and says he's ruining her day. He then tries another strategy and asks if she is acting this way because she already has a boyfriend. But she replies that she doesn't have a boyfriend and doesn't even intend to date, especially with poor men like him. She says that in that neighborhood no man is able to give her the luxurious future she deserves. So the man finally loses his patience and says there is no reason for her to treat him that way. The woman doesn't seem sorry and says she's tired of being flirted with by poor men like him, that only rich men deserve her attention. The man then replies that the clothes mean nothing. He's on the street and just got off work so it's okay to dress casually. But he says that on special occasions he dresses differently. Yelling at the humble man, she once again asks him to leave, saying that it's not every day that a beautiful car like that shows up in town. The man then reveals that she needs to get out of the way of the car, as the vehicle is his and she is on the way. But the woman once again mocks the man, insinuating that he would never have a car like that. Tired of being humiliated, he asks her to get out of the way, because that imposing truck is his. The arrogant woman is incredulous and asks if he is not lying. The man confirms that that car is his, bought with his own money. She then shows that, in addition to being arrogant, she is a self-interested person. Before cursing and humiliating the humble man, now she says she is interested in talking to him, but it's too late and the man knows who she really is. He says he will never date someone arrogant like her, who judges people only by appearance. He suggests that she change this arrogant behavior, because people, even the poorest, deserve to be treated with respect. The woman tries to apologize and for a chance, but now he's out of patience, and asks her to get out of the car. He reveals that she is not the first person to change her behavior after discovering that he owns that beautiful car. The man then decides to leave and the woman, in a pathetic attitude, tries to convince him to change his mind. Before leaving with the car, he looks at the woman and once again says that money is not everything, what matters is character. And then he leaves and the woman is alone in the street, regretting having acted so arrogantly. Never judge a person by their appearance, because the world is a box of surprises and you never know who is in front of you.